imagine you're still getting your breath back after that. Three, two, fourth qualifying round. What does that mean to you and the, and the club? Oh, to the, for the players, I mean, after what happened on Tuesday night, you know, it was, it was nothing short of a disaster, really. Conceding, working so hard to get back in the game, then conceding late on. And I thought when they scored out of two minutes, I thought that was a foul on Wally, in all fairness. I thought the lads dragged him back. But, you know, when you go down straight away, you start thinking, oh, no, here we go again. These are a good side. I mean, they've got, you know, they've got good players. They're players from a high level. You know, they've expected to do well this year. And you think, oh, one nil down out of three or four minutes. You think, you know, the lads could cave in. But I thought, you know, we stayed in the game at that point because um, Stratford, you know, were looking busy. They was keeping the ball. And we were just trying to get on the pitch that they've got, got to stay in the game because cup football, anything can happen. And at half time, one nil down, I thought, in all fairness, Stratford were blowing. I thought because we kept the ball, we was moving it side to side. And rather than going into Jack early, and for the last 15 minutes of the first half, I thought, that's, you know, the goal's coming. And then, sort of in the second half, you know, we kicked on from the first half and we scored. I mean, Jack, Jack Defty back to his best with the two goals. He's got two great finishes. And then um, we've nipped in front 2-1 and I thought, you know, Stratford are gone. They're gone. We're going to go run away with it. And then, you know, the lads here. Couldn't Unbe have unbelievable strike from third. Yeah, we could. We could have got closer to put more pressure on the ball. But, you know, he's hit an unstoppable strike and 2-2. The game's then in the balance again. And you start thinking, oh, no, here we go again. The lads are going to feel sorry for us for themselves, but they showed unbelievable character the boys today and Danny White's, you know, in the 86th minute to go beyond the front two and snick in a brave goal for a finish was, you know, that was all credit, but that was a full team performance. I thought Ben Coe came in for his first start today and I thought he'd give us unbelievable energy. Was that a tactical decision by you? Well, I'd put him, I'd put him in because obviously you've got Spriggsy on the right-hand side and that would give us more, you know, we're trying to get the midfield to not to play so close to each other and that give you a solid three, if you like as a natural left sider while Jamie's injured. So you know, that was a bit of a round peg and a round hole. And obviously, Robbie played the other night, but he weren't at his best. So that was a choice to you know, play Danny Bowman up front, who we asked to play a different role. He played a little bit of a di deeper role today. He was trying, we were trying to eliminate going longer Jack and get Danny on the ball, ball in behind Jack and then play off Jack. And you know that worked. And you know, you've you got to give the lads credit for all the, for all the grief the lads get. You know, when we lose and the criticism have come in for unbelievable criticism, you know, to have all the points we've got out of the many games, I think we're five points off long, but if, if we win a game's in hand. You know, it's a lot of criticism. We do get a lot of criticism, but, you know, on the flip side of that, I hope they get all the praise they deserve today because that would have been very, very easy for us to fold at 1-0 down against a good side, FA Cup third qualifying game. One or two, you know, Jamie's injured and Wally went off injured. That would have been easy for us to fold, but I thought Bully come on and done tremendous. What, what does it mean to you personally, though? Well, personally, I mean, we're all in it together, aren't we? When they're criticising the players and criticising, you know, myself, that, that we all we all feel that. We, you know, we, we, but that's 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 what you get when you you know you're involved in Kingsley Football Club. That's that's pressure. I mean, that's the pressure I want. That's the pressure I like. Um, and today, the, the pressure valve's been released for you know for however long. But <laughs> we've really enjoyed. We're really going to enjoy this. And you know, we've got a week off now, so we can train. Jack Defty's playing on one leg towards the end, and. You know, we, we need the week off and, you know, we've got a home game next week, which we need to get points from. But, you know, the, the, the cup builds confidence. The lads are going to be on a high now from after the low Tuesday night. And, you know, we're excited to win the draw and we've got, we've got an opportunity. We've got a chance to get a, a Luton Town or a Cambridge United or a Mansfield Town, Ketchum Town. There's some big clubs in the, in the draw. And if we can get a home draw against one of them, that'd be fantastic. I remember playing against Exeter here, there was 3,500. In the there. trophy, yeah. In the trophy. That was only the third round of the trophy. So... You know, and if we if we get another club, then you know a lower club, we've got a chance of obviously getting to the first round proper. So that's exciting times for the football. Is this the, would you say today's probably the highlight of your managerial career? I mean, I know you know you, you haven't had a long managerial career. <laughs> no, but I mean, get... I, I, obviously, you know, when we beat St. Nits four two away, that was a great you know great point. But me personally, on my own, you know, without Kevin, this is this is probably the highlight. I mean, we had some good wins against St. Nits last year, but this is definitely the highlight of my short managerial career. And um, crowd today. Oh, it's fantastic. That's that's what that's what the crowd can do to people. They didn't even at one 0 they weren't you know, t Tuesday night against Leaford, you know, the people you hear the grumbles, but today they was fully behind the lads and that affected Stratford. That definitely affected Stratford. You could see by the way they scored and they was goading the crowd. You could see that the, the pressure had been building off the crowd and if the crowd get behind us like this then that'll be unbelievable that you know that's unbelievable. We, that give that do really count as a twelfth man. I mean League's a priority, we know that, but you can't beat magic the FA Cup like days like today, can you? No, the only days you get like this in the league is when you win it. Mm. Um, but this this club, this fan base deserves 
high level football and that's that's not a given people seem to think that's a given that we're going to get out of UCL we've got to work really hard to get out of UCL but if we show the character that we did today home and away you know our home form's been a bit iffy this year and the away form's been 100% but if we show you know the grit and determination and the belief and the togetherness and the discipline and you know all the words that are said all over the country football wise then we've got an outstanding chance because we've got good players yeah brilliant